hey everyone welcome back to the channel if you're new here i'm glad you stopped by today i'm going to show you something that honestly blew my mind how re-render ai can take a super rough sketch and turn it into a gorgeous photorealistic render in just seconds so what is re-render ai think of it like your creative assistant that turns ideas into visuals instantly you can upload sketches photos or even 3d models and re-render will give you realistic renders faster than you can make a cup of tea the company actually began in 2022 when the team foresaw the rapid rise of AI and started exploring the image domain. Pretty soon they focused on the architecture interior design sector and that's what led to this powerful tool we're seeing today. And they are not stopping here. Coming up this August, they'll be rolling out an adjustable lighting feature which means you'll be able to tweak the mood and lighting of your renders directly inside the platform so they're constantly improving both quality and ease of use inside re-render ai's website i have the pro plan uh, but as a free user you will get three credits daily to actually explore this and if you're planning to try re-render ai for yourself use this code that you see on the screen and also i'll give this code in the description this will give you a 20% off of your subscription and 7 day pro trial. So to redeem the discount, log into re-render AI, go to the account page, bottom left corner, under the collaboration program, enter the code studio2030.2025, add your Instagram handle when prompted. Inside the re-render AI page, uh, we got home where we can see all the fresh renders users are actually making. Let me refresh this. Uh, okay, so you can see, and you can hover over each of these, and it will show the actual out, uh, actual mesh or image that they put, and they got the result like this. So this is very nice. You can also go inside and see the original with the generated version, and also you can see the user has given the prompt as an image as a reference to actually transform this mesh to this super nice so when we go to the home we can see there are some tutorials above you can check them out and you have a workbench that we will talk about later in the videos as I'm making a series of videos about re-render AI we have the render section that actually gives fast render. We have the enhance section. Uh, it enhances the photorealism and the coloring, which I want to talk about today. And staging, edit, mood board. You have another option of mood board and you can also generate videos from still images. So. Let's just jump into the coloring section because this is a sketch to image workflow and I like it very much. So this is very straightforward. You just upload your image as the step one. Then you just pick a style and you hit generate. And after that, you will get a prompt. If you don't like the generated version, you can actually use prompt to change it. And let me just show you so it's easier let's upload this sketch i found in pinterest and as you can see i want real materials and let's hit generate this is very fast even when uh, re-render ai has a very peak hour it's still very fast so you can see within 20 seconds we have got a sketch and nope i don't like this at all so what i like to do is to go to chat gpt and upload the sketch and tell it to generate me a highly detailed prompt because uh, you can see by default when i generate this it uses just this line make this image photorealistic keep the line and realistic style that gives us this result which uh, honestly is crap so what what i like to do is go to chat gpt and i've already uploaded this sketch and 
ChatGPT has given me a uh, prompt which I can use to drastically change the outcome. So I'll just hit regenerate and in less than 20 seconds this sketch will be reimagined into a full render. So this is nothing like my sketch. It happens sometime as I'm testing this for a month now. So I know it sometimes messed up. So you just hit regenerate and see. Believe me, the results are really, really good. Geometry and proportions and compositions. So let's try this now. Yep. So you can see that now it's strictly following the sketch and the scenes are also quite nice. I'll just hit regenerate one more time because I think it will do a better job now. See, I told you. So here's why I'm a fan of free render AI because it's fast and you don't need hours of rendering. Second, the quality. So you can see it even captured this line here. And this is especially very helpful when I'm actually conceptualizing my sketches and I'm thinking of ideas, how it can look, what kind of materials to apply. So this really gives me an insight to what my form could look like if I maintain my sketch like that. So let me show you some couple of examples uh, which I actually made uh, like this one. So this is a very rough sketch that I did and this is the result that I got. So also here I use ChatGPT to regenerate the prompt because I have tested it many times and I have seen that uh, the prompt that it by default uses is not that really good. Also let's go to history and also you can see I have tested it uh, nicely and quite frankly I am very impressed with this like this one. This is a very rough sketch and I've given it a very nice prompt from ChatGPT and within just 20 seconds I got this quality image. So you can also compare it side by side like this and I must say yeah these are all messed up but in conceptual level everything is concept right and of course no tool is perfect like you can see this one by using the default prompt I've gotten this result and after using chat GPT to refine the prompt I got this image render which looks very professional and quite frankly in this image nobody can tell if this is AI or not like the lines are nicely done there are no jittery lines or imperfections even the car has motion blur and the sun is falling correctly the shadows are maintained and the cityscape is nicely done so hats off we render ai team after testing it out i have some tips for better results Use ChatGPT for most accurate prompt. Be specific with your text prompts. Try out the different render modes and compare and don't be afraid to generate multiple versions. You can see in coloring, we have the 2D and 3D version. So in 2D, I've tested this. Uh, this is quite nice, but sometimes it doesn't understand what I'm trying to do. Like uh, in this example, like, uh, like here in this 2d i gave the base image like this of a park and it just give an output like the chat gpt output so it's okay but nowhere near perfect 
but still uh, in conceptualizing I think it's perfectly fine so that's re-render AI in action from doodle to polished rendering seconds honestly it feels like having a mini rendering studio in your browser until next time keep creating and I'll catch you in the next video